Warning. 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 The Drama King is in the building. The Drama King is in the building. And it ain't Shade 45, Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K, Slate, Drama King in the building, Jazzy Bell TV in the building. Ooh, ooh. Moving yeah. right along, we got another special guest just walked in the building. We got Dage Loaf in the building. What up? Dage, what's up? What's going on, man? Shit, I ain't seen you in so long. Last time you was here, the room was was orchestrated a different way. I was mm-hmm. over there. You know right. what I'm saying? It's been a minute, man. Yeah, it's been a minute. I wasn't even here. Yeah, yeah, you wasn't even on. I don't know there. what was going on. I know y'all was fucking with me because y'all like, how you not here? Yeah, Your Detroit exactly. homie came. You were supposed to represent. Yeah, exactly. So I'm glad to finally be here to meet her. So, Dave, what's going on with you? I mean, where you been? What's going on? Like, talk to us. Man, you ain't talk to us. Yeah, I've been, I've been working, man. I've been working on my album. You know, I, mm-hmm. I, I kind of, I guess I can say I took a break, but I, I didn't because I was working hard on the mm-hmm. low. You know what I mean? And like I said, I've been working on music, <clears throat> getting everything in order, just kind of rebranding, regrouping, and, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of growth since then. So here I am now. Got a new single album coming out, so it's time. When's the album coming out? Fall. Can't get, I don't have a date yet, but fall. You have a title? Liberated. Liberated? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the name of it. And where's that title extend from? Um, it It goes back to just me, like, taking that break and just like shutting everything down to create this album you know um i have a track on the album called liberated okay you know and the track <clears throat> the record is so like strong and i feel like it's gonna be a big record and that's kind of like i mean it made me want to just title the whole album because that's what it feels like it just as a whole like you know the every, whole album could could yeah. follow behind that track yeah liberated, okay. like just being free and just doing what you want to do you know what i mean i know it's taboo to ask but i mean i'm just an older (laughs) nigga whatever i don't give a fuck like how old are you now are we telling that (laughs) how old are you now like can you know how the ladies is we don't like to tell i'm 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 asking you before somebody (laughs) fucking call up on the phone and say they went to school with you like she's 45 you know what i'm saying i mean I, I, i i register you as like 25 24 years old like Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Still yeah. younger than thugging. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not 30 yet. I'm not, yeah. Okay, I understand. They're going to answer. We'll yeah, take okay. That. Under 30. <laughs> Under 30, yeah. Under 30. That's what's up. How long you been uh, doing music? Like, on a serious note. I mean, you know. Um, like, on a serious note, I would say, yeah. I went to college a couple, you know, for a couple, actually, semesters, not years. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that was in 2000. I, I graduated in 2009. That was like 2011. I would say 2000. 11 10 10 11 where it's like yo i want to be you know i mean i always did music but like you said seriously in the studio working on records and so came pe- a long way since so then, people but. normally go to college around what 20 oh you oh that's years. what damn you got yeah me. you gotta be a little yeah. savvy with yeah, this yeah, nigga you know over here yeah, yeah I, I, this motherfucker you turns into a mathematician yeah. Yeah. when wow. it comes to age yeah. and all mm-hmm. that <laughs> But you wow. know what? Uh, but my my yeah, thing always back. been: it don't matter how old you are; it's what you're doing at your age and how you look. That's always been my shit. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers be like, "Yo, I'm 25," and they be popped. I be like, "Nigga, you need to go to the fountain of youth. You fucking up. <laughs> you understand <laughs> what I'm saying? Or you need to get your life together because you're not where you should be at at this age. You know what I'm saying? But when you look good, you're doing what you're supposed to do. Then, you know what I'm saying? It it, it is what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You blessed. So now, the <clears throat> album, liberated. You, liberated you, you you care to share any of the features on there with us yet it's only a few um so i give one i would say i got a record with two chains okay it's got gonna that. be a dope summer record that's the homie okay yeah. that's what's so it's only a few i mean that's one for the most part <laughs> it's all you yeah it's all me producers producers i worked a lot with ricky reed um wallpaper from the bay area um i guess i got a joint with mustard on there uh okay Detail, Christoph Anderson. Detail is dope. I yeah. fuck with Detail. He's yeah. from the D too, right? Yeah. Yeah, no so. doubt. He's from the D, but his swab, swab and his go. savviness comes from L.A. <laughs> That's when his shit start going with the Ray J, with the Ray J shit and all. That's when his shit start coming out the little way and all that. You know what I'm But cool. Okay, y'all want to say D? Can cool. we just have some Detroit Alliance going on right here? Can you always try to break it up? Your shit popped in New York, not in Detroit. So like, that's sometimes people step outside of their comfort zone to do it. She her shit, she stayed where she was at and did it. Like so, everybody don't got it like that. It's cool though. 
It is. But we <laughs> always take it back home. You always got to represent where you're from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shit on where you blew up at. Okay, no one said shit on. <laughs> you took it great. to a whole other level. New York is the mecca <laughs> of this shit. So look, um, I know your joint drops Friday, but we could go down memory lane. We could play some, yeah. some classics, right? What you got over there, Tosh? Nice. Shade 45. 8 at 8, Shade 45, Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K, Slate, John King in the building, Jazzy Bell TV in the building. We got Dave Ooh-hoo. Loaf in the building. Yeah. Yeah. That Charmy record was huge when it first came out. It was. Even now, I mean, that record, Certified Gold? Definitely. It was, yeah. It is. It is. I think a lot of people don't know, like, you've had some hits under your belt, even though your album that's coming out is your first official album, right? Mm-hmm. Everything prior to that was just mixtapes. Mixtapes and features, you know, yeah. Yeah. Talk about some of the records that you've been on and, like, the success that it did. Um, well, Back Up, that was my second single. Um, it went That's platinum. the record with Big, Sh- Big, Sh- Big Sean, Sean yeah. right? So, yeah, that went platinum. Um, got the Be Real, went platinum with Kidding. We got a gold record with uh, Casey Veggies. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, what else? I mean, yeah. you know, you know what record <laughs> you, you looking did, for I your like, people's I'm like, like yo, yo. What else we got? Nah, Talk nah, about my accolades. What's up about my resume? Nah, but <laughs> that joint you had with Game and y'all yeah. did the video. That shit was tight too. Yeah, that I was, was just a, watching that video. It's crazy. Yeah, like, that, wow. that that was a hot joint right there too. Even right see? now, she's on the um the record with um were you on the Rick Ross, Rick Ross. new album? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The name of that one is Maybach Music. Maybach Music Five. Crazy. That's like one of the favorites on there for me right now. So with you right now, right, off the rip, who would you consider to be your top five um, artists? Top five artists? Yeah, Dead or Alive. Dead or Alive. Wow. Yeah. Um, top five Dead or Alive. Jay-Z. Okay. <clears throat> Tupac. Okay. Um, rappers, right? Yeah. Rappers only. Yeah, there's two right there. Jay. Who? Tupac. I'm saying J. Jay Jay Tupac. Tupac. Um, okay. Dang. Who else? I like? Got a lot of rappers listening. They're going right. to hold you to this list. <laughs> That's right. I, 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 love, I love to do this shit. Um, I love to yeah, do this Yeah, you kind of put me on the spot. Uh, yeah. Think about it. When you was well, growing up, up like, rapping in the mirror, been... who was you listening to? Right, right, right. Okay, so I was I'm going to help you out. I'm going to take you down memory lane. I would say E40. Oh, that's Forty Water. That's the yeah, homie. I've Bay never Area. heard. I've, I've never heard a bad Forty verse. So I yes. got to put him in my top okay. five, just lyrically and. Got you, um, mom. Lil Kim. Okay, yeah. shit. A whole lot of New York in that motherfucker. That's right. Keep going. <laughs> I should have said that. See, now she's gonna go back. <laughs> <laughs> um. What's one more? One more. You could do Damn. it. Damn. So many, it's not fair for five, but I'll wait. I'm gonna sip on this, <laughs> I'm gonna sip on this champagne. I'll wait. You know what I'm saying? Um, who am I crazy about? Like, who, who is it? Who are you crazy about? I mean, <laughs> you know, can, can one of your friends help you? One of your cohorts? We're gonna call in a friend. Help her. Who's she call knocking? Who, who call she, in a friend. Who's she somebody knocking on the in corner. the whip? Who's she knocking in the whip? Who's she talking about? Come and on, it could be her. somebody that's out currently right now that could still be on your list. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know who I think is great, like, mm. for our time now, who I love, Thug. Young Thug. Young Thug. He's one of my favorites. Like. Okay, there you go. All right. That's right. We can take that. Ain't <laughs> I gotta got Thug in my top five. <laughs> Ain't got to be all classic. You understand what I'm saying? He got a fan base. He's doing what he do. Probably going to get a lot of comments about that one. <laughs> I mean, but. <laughs> Which is great. No, nothing wrong. It's very uh, eclectic, your um, pick. Like I said, it's so many like that I, you know. But that shows in your swag, I think. The um, range and the broad range of people that you like. I if mean, I even looking ask, at you, your style and all that is different. Yeah, if I had to ask somebody from the new generation, I would pick him. Like, just, you know, that I listen to that I'm actually like, yeah, in tune with. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Well, you featured on a record with a lot of people. Like you said, Eminem is one of them that's in your top. Who is somebody that you haven't yeah, she worked ain't with? You didn't say Eminem? You didn't say Eminem? I didn't say Eminem. Oh, I'm sorry. Damn. Maybe it was just a Detroit thing. I was just yeah, gravitating exactly. to that. Don't cheat. <laughs> okay. Okay, you really on your I, New York shit is better than the Knicks. I, I left out some people, but. I'm sure. She said a five sure. wasn't enough, but she named who she named, but we want to mm-hmm. just keep it the way what she mm-hmm. said. I know. Okay. You want to keep it what I said. Exactly. Yes. He, oh, he going to hold you to it. Damn. You threw a lot of New Yorkers in it. He definitely going to hold you to that. But who was it that you haven't worked with that you would like to work with in the future? Um. Um. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh shit. Shit getting heavy in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> shit getting I mean, heavy rappers this... only or what? Like, no, 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 no have absolutely to be... not. No, 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 um, no, no, okay, no. yeah, so I would say Anita Baker. Uh, Ooh. She brought it back to the D. Thank I you, God. I fuck with Anita. I fuck with Anita. <laughs> Something like that would be dope. Mm hmm. Yeah. But that's pretty much what you say you grew up listening to, like, outside of hip-hop. What was, like, your um, influences outside of hip-hop? Outside of hip-hop. Um, yeah, I listened to a lot of R&B, Mary J. Blige, Sade, you name it. Like, I, that's more of the music, which is why, you know what I mean, I can, I have balance in rapping it, you know what I mean? I do a, a little bit of both, you know? Mm-hmm. I listen to a lot of R&B. Well, I want to big you up that you said Little Kim. I mean, definitely throwing a female in there. And you did do a tribute mm -hmm. for her at the Hip Hop Honors, which I thought was pretty dope. Yeah. Yo, so at the end of the day, <laughs> right, when you finished all said and done with this hip hop culture, what, what would you like to be known as? Like, what would you like to be remembered by? Um, one of the, one of the best to ever do it. Um... I know what that come with, you know, a lot of work got to get put yeah. in, and I'm and I'm ready for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is my debut album, so I know a lot of people think it's been, like, you know, this long journey, but it's kind of, like, still fresh for me anyway. And mm -hmm. like I said, I'm a believer in what I do and what I can bring to this, you know, to the world, period. So. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. I want to see her on this tour life. <laughs> I know you was on tour before. I you opened up for it? Was it Nicki Minaj? Mm -hmm. Are you planning on going on tour with this album? Definitely. Yeah, and this time it's gonna be you know me just you know testing it out with my fans and really no opening out. act. We're gonna have some, you know, we're gonna put some stuff together. Get, get the opening, <laughs> get the opening act. Here we go. From, okay, what are you suggesting? Come on, let me drive this bus. I've been in this shit for decades. Get the I know. Get the opening act of the hottest motherfucker in the, every town you're going to. Oh, that's smart. Switch it up. And uh, on top of that, the fan base, uh, right? We're gonna be like, there. They're gonna look forward saying? to yeah. seeing yeah. the local right. artists. Ripping the stage. Yeah. Okay, I mean, me being a DJ, even when I went to towns back in the days, I, I stumbled one time. I went to New Orleans. That was 98. Bayou Classic. I was DJing. And I threw on MOP. Now, in New York, when Andy Up came on, niggas got shot, stabbed, robbed, everything. <laughs> I threw that shit on in motherfucking New Orleans. <laughs> and niggas looked at me like, what the fuck wrong with this nigga? So I had to spin that shit off quick and throw that Master P shit on mm. and get him back up. So ever since then, before I went to a town, yeah. I called and said who's the hottest underground nigga out there <laughs> right so i knew to have that shit on deck right you understand what i saying? and not think i was in my town it was a learning experience you understand what i'm saying so at the end of the day you can't you can't lose that way every town got that nigga that's popping on that's the low bubbling that we don't know about but they go yeah. crazy for it. they run to the you know what I'm saying the dance floor and everything and that's always a win. No, nah, it's very smart for that you would suggest that. It's very strategic. Win. Yeah, I'm it's always a to win. That. That's dope. Eighty day shape four five streets be ready. You got another throwback in there? Oh. <laughs> After Fifth Avenue comes six. After Forty Eighth Street. Eighty eight shape forty five street street be ready. Yo, Jazz Bell in the building. We we got DJ K Slay in the building. He politicking on the phone. We still got the Detroit homie in the building, Dage Low. What's up, Dage? What's up? What's going on? <laughs> I got to shout you out real quick. You took a quick shot with me. I want to say I appreciate that. Definitely. <laughs> I know you don't drink what I drink, but you did it for me. Yeah, we figured it out. So I appreciate it. And I'm feeling it too, because, yeah, that's great goose. Yeah, yeah, I, I got to hit you. I got I to gotta hit you quick, because it's going to get you. 8 one. Now let's get to... um. I want to know, and I'm sure a lot of people listening, I want to know how you got your start in the game. Um, my start in the game, I mean, it started out kind of like, I mean, I would say underground, just like I said, 2010, 11, just, I put out a mixtape. <clears throat> I was um, working with my guys back home in Detroit, C mm -hmm. CMC, shout out to Richie uh, Marciano and the guys, and, um, I was just doing like little underground shows, nothing, you know, too major. Where? In Detroit. I know, but like, talk to me. Take me back to my roots. Um, you know, like. Did you hit up the St. Andrews? Like. Those type of shows. Like, exactly. And not to say they weren't much, because they obviously made, you know, made a. Impact. Impact on, you know, what I'm doing now. So, shout out to everybody involved in, you know, those shows. You know, like the, um, <clears throat> they had shows like the Air Up There and, uh, like say shows at St. Andrews and all of those different things. I was, I was doing that in Detroit. 
and I wouldn't say I was popping, popping. I'm gonna be honest. Like it was, it was tough. You know what I mean? Like <clears throat> a lot of, you know, yeah. So you said you <laughs> you said it was tough. Now Detroit could definitely be tough. But when did you know? When did, when did you realize that you created an audience and you won them over? Was it in the D, or did it take? Just like Kay was saying, you yeah. know, you popped when I came to New York. That is when I popped. A lot of artists do have to go out from their natural habitat mm -hmm. to get their name bubbling. Did you experience that? Um, the city caught on to like try me like, but <clears throat> actually the Damn. Bay Area kind of like birthed it in a way. Like they were like going crazy to the record. Like <clears throat> they made it theirs. Everybody thought it was from the Bay. So they kind of, you know, picked up the record first and then Detroit, you know, followed behind. And yeah. But that's when I knew, like I said, I started, everything started happening so fast and just like, wow, I couldn't even blink. Like it was just like next you know, I went from being at home and yeah. looking at my Instagram followers grow to now I'm on a flight to Miami. Now I'm on a flight to L.A. Now I'm in these offices. It was just that quick and like, damn. What has <laughs> happened for you in your career so far that's been like the most shocking or the most memorable? The most shocking, memorable. Um, Especially being from the D, like you said, you know. Yeah, Um, I would say... The most shocking, just getting through those cracks. I mean, you know how tough it is getting out of Detroit. Like, I still sometimes are like, I'm like, damn. You know? What about the artist, though, for you? What, what was the most shocking artist that you worked with? But, like, I would have dreamt in a million years that I would be in the studio with this guy or this girl. Um, I was in the studio with Lil' Kim, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> Talk to me I about said it that. All, like humble, but yeah. I know that's huge, and the fact that she was in your top five. Did she ever give you like any advice that you would say that you would take with you throughout your career? Yeah, just I mean, she's just genuinely like a sweet person, and she just it's, it's just regular conversation. Like, yeah, you fuck you, you, niggas, you, get yeah. money. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, she is who she you know say she is. So it's like, yeah, she's. What she tell you? Do what she thing. tell like, you? Like you, yeah, you got it. Like obviously, like she fuck with me. You know what I mean? She yeah. brought me out to, you know, hip hop honors and yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's genuine. <laughs> now, where were you with the iconic moment at Summer Jam that just passed? I'm surprised I didn't see you there, Dej. What happened? Man, I couldn't make it. <laughs> ah, I couldn't make it. Where were you? I was in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. I was okay. In Atlanta and I couldn't make it, but I saw how dope it was. It, it was amazing. Look crazy. I was like, damn. Like, <laughs> shout out to Remy and everybody. Remy had, reached out you know. to you. How did that conversation go about? Oh, who reached out to you? Um, a few people reached out and, and, and asked me, you know what I mean, but couldn't make it. So, mm. now I know we've been putting you on the spot when it comes to like listing people. Um, I always ask this question with all the females that come up here. You know, the iconic, what is it, Ladies' Night remix with Little Kim. Mm -hmm. They got the Missy Elliott, Angie Martinez, Left Eye, all of that. If you was to do your version of Ladies Night, mm -hmm. who would be on the record with Dage Loaf? <sighs> Yikes. She about to throw a lot of chicks on the <laughs> bus. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. And guess what? I'm it not may not even be questions. somebody that's known right now. It could be somebody in the Bay Area or Detroit that's bubbling and you like, yo, I would love to be on a joint with her, mix with whoever what is it five girls on that record it's about five chicks on the so record name, yes so miss name, the other, name, the other four. Left <laughs> name your other four i don't think you can do redo that record though like no, but if you had the opportunity if, 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 though because it could come because look at rip you wouldn't even do it and you could think even in the past it doesn't even have to be current you, if you even did with a, the summer jack you see how queen latifah yeah. came out that was dope. uh moni love yeah. Rod Digger. Yeah, Rod Ma Digger. Uh, MC Light was there. Definitely. I was trying to get her up here this week. Shout out to her, her team. Saying? We should have told the hit <clears throat> That's the homie. You know what I'm saying? But, um, we'll politic later. <laughs> well, yeah, give me four people that you would put on the record with. <clears throat> four people on the ladies. Yeah, I got to be all girls, huh? <laughs> I mean, unless the motherfucker like dick and the booty, it gotta be all. Girls. I mean, right? It's ladies night. Yeah, it's lady night. I mean, but he could, <laughs> be real. He could Name come from a different angle. Night. I mean, music is you know he could come from a. But I mean, <laughs> when you say ladies night, ladies night, you know what I'm saying? He hanging with the ladies. You never know. <laughs> nah, B, we ain't doing she that. Really That's how I would do mine. It. That's how I would do mine. I would, I would put um, who would I put on there, man? I would love to give her, a but I can't do it. You gotta stick to the program on this one. Okay, give me three. <laughs> hmm. Ladies' night. 
Eve. Can I throw one at you? Missy, with Missy Elliot. Missy. Okay, I can hear your voice so with hers. So you wanna? Okay, I fuck yeah. with Missy. <laughs> you know what? Stay over here. What? You know? Bust it up. I fuck with Missy. You doing a super duper that's fly that's dance the in the video? We, we was on violated together. Like I fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? Like yes. who else? It's tough, man. Damn. Little Kim, I give you that. All right. That give me one or two more. Who said to give you what she wanted to give you? <laughs> yeah, right. You just threw Eve out there. I was trying to be But she ain't say Eve. She said Missy. Little Kim is in her top five. I think at this point it's a little I mean, obvious. Yeah, I will put Kim on there. I will put him. Um... Who else? <laughs> Damn, we, we fucking with Dave. I yeah, know. I'm fucking you ain't even make, I, I mean. mean hey, but this is such a simple interview. We ain't even trying to make it like, but it seems like, you know. It, it, I mean, coming from your aspect, like I understand, it's hard to leave certain people out of shit. Yeah, and like, then later I mean, on, they be feeling salty because the internet true is a weird game right now. You know, niggas be salty. She, was, yes. she, ain't, she ain't mentioned me. You <laughs> understand what I'm saying? Like that's why I was like, yeah, to say little kill. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. You know what? It'll be a short version. We're gonna take Little Kim <laughs> and we're gonna take Missy. The little Kim and Missy. That's what I said. It's gonna be a little No, no, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it's gonna be a little short. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give her a fucking football pass. And you said you said, what dude would you put on? Young thug. Look at that. Chill, yo, why you answering the fucking questions for? Her? What dude would you throw on there? Um what do I do on there? Nigga can say whatever they want about Young Thug. I remember that nigga before all this shit. Whatever. There's no gay bone in that nigga body. I think oh, he I just, can't speak on someone's sexuality. Fucking, I wasn't even he's thinking He's fucking that. with the fucking industry. Oh, okay. You understand what I'm saying? He's getting what he getting. I right, fuck that. Oh. There's nothing wrong with oh, Thug. Oh, that's what it is? Okay. There's nothing wrong with Thug. Okay, I would. Um, him. He's just fucking with the game. Yeah, so what we at with it? I said, I said. He said um, he was going to. Oh, you want to put a guy in it? Yeah, because you, said, you, you suggested said. it. So I mean, that's kind of. I was just different. With y'all. Like y'all fucking with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so you want to play that game? I mean, right? I mean, you know, with each other. Being twenty-seven years old, like I think that's a smooth. You know, saying move that you like. Well, that's not my age. All right. Oh, <laughs> that means she is. Nice you keep one. Me trap right you. There. Why you keep letting me trap you? I, I went to low. I went. You said you're under thirty. I went to twenty-seven. Okay, it could be under 27 or it could be older. Okay. I said 25, but she ain't agree. Maybe she doesn't say anything. It doesn't mean that she's not 25. Who side you on, yeah? Anyway, so. It ain't Shade 4 5, Streets of Radio, Days Loaf in the building. You know what I'm saying? Yo, okay, did you see the new, Um, because since I think, as I'm looking at you, I know that you was on the cover, was it 2015, the Double XL? Uh, freshman cover who yeah. was you on that cover with because i'm always interested in that when you fast four years later and be like who is still out from that cover you fast for two years later look you sitting right across from me popping shit mm -hmm. so it's good to see that you still around doing your thing and you still relevant today who else was on that cover with you do you um, remember it was um me shit tink we were two girls on there uh oh okay. who else was on there um fetty wop He's still around. That's dope. Um, I pull up the new ones. It's been a minute. Uh, There's a lot of them niggas on that new cup I never even heard of. Bro. I was gonna say, ain't, Kenny. None of, ain't none of my business though. Oh. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not being shady. I just never heard of them. Maybe people did. There's like two or three other. Yo, they it turned into a whole meme that cover. That's why nah, I'm looking at them? it. They did I like the Cleveland Cavaliers. They did a trash box, calling every, because everybody you know had on all black on that joint. So they had them in trash boxes and saying everyone in the 2017 Double XL was trash. Generation I can't next. shit on nothing that the little kids like. Some kids like that shit. It is what it is. I just don't know what some of them are. That's it. 88 Shape 405 Street Super Radio. A Boogie with the hoodie we on there. You got another record? A dope. Boogie from up top. Yeah, dope. Okay. okay. I mean, that's the only one I recognize. I'm looking at it right now. It's true. A Boogie is one other nigga I remember. PNB Rock. I know who oh, he is. Oh, that's the one with the hands out like that. You're right. Yeah, he's yep. from Philly. I know who that is. And then the other little nigga that just got hit on the stage, some nigga got put his hands on him. I saw that. And he was talking that. crazy. His name started with an X. I What's saw that. What's that nigga name, Torch? Triple X. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hey, what was all that about? And who spoke on him? I don't know. I'm too I already old had beef about, somewhere. I'm too old to know about with shit somebody. Like that. He had I, beef I with somebody that was that's know. from that town. Do y'all know the story? I don't know. I don't you care. You know. Don't oh, know. okay. <laughs> I don't care. It was just fucked up. Yeah. When you're on the stage performing, a nigga should not have leeway to get to that you much access that to you. Of course. Sunday, right. But anyway, you gonna make a hard left off of that. We oh, got okay. another throwback over there. Yeah. 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 
888 Shade 45, Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K Slate, you know Drama King in the building, Jazzy Bell TV's in the building, yeah. Dage Loaf is in the building. So, Dage, where'd that name come from? Dage, my name is Deja, and then okay. Loaf came from. Um, you like bread when you were smaller? I mean, I think we all like bread, right? Yeah, I love bread. In what form? Raisin bread. Like Wonder Bread yeah. or Money Bread? No, Raisin Bread. Both, right? Yeah, I like I Raisin said, I Bread. Like, I love both. But yeah, Loaf came from just me, shoes, you know, loafers, me. Um, Yeah. I was just walking home one day like, yo, I'm about to just start wearing all Gucci loafers and you know, everybody's mm. going to start calling me Deja Loaf. Okay. And that's kind of, yeah, how it wears them from. Was that before you you start like getting a little popular with the rap or early yeah, like from was, day one you were just like it wasn't day one I mean I obviously had terrible rap names before but like <laughs> everybody they, did yeah they, enlighten us please you know I don't even it was just simple shit like you remember <laughs> you remember <laughs> I was I, I I never really had a nickname so I've always just went by Deja so whether it was yeah I don't even want to mention them but yeah <laughs> Deja like, <laughs> she's smart. Because we could Google Smoogle and be like, yo. I mean, it's not in the system. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <that's laughs> well, you said that shit ain't in the system. I came Good luck. Day slow, man. All right. I ain't mad at that right there. So, um, is there any other ventures that you look forward to, you know, branching off into? Because, you know, music is just a stepping stone mm -hmm. to, to get into the M's. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Definitely. I mean, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm getting it all in order <clears throat> to just, yeah, do whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever comes your way that you feel Whatever, you can put yeah. your feet in and win, you're going to yeah. tackle it. I will. I am. Okay. That's what's up. When that album come out again? Fall. This fall. fall, fall what's up with the single? Fall 2017. Yeah, when the single? Yeah, what's up with the single? What's going to be the single? Is it going to be um, Liberated? I know you said that's nah, your the single, record. The single the comes this Friday, actually. Um, what's the name of it? What can we expect? No Fear. It's produced by Christoph Anderson. The song is about just... You know, loving freely and just being, you know, in love with someone and having no fear. And just the message of the song is just having no fear in life, period, about nothing. And yeah, no fear. Doing as you please. No being fear. yourself. That's what it is. But you said matter. it talks about love, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, yeah. I mean, life is love. Love is life, right? Like, it just resonates with everybody, not just like a, you know, a relationship, a loving relationship, like, you know. Mm. But, you know, uh, all type of relationships, you know. Yeah. Speaking of relationships, are you single now? I'm <clears throat> single. I know you had your your situation with um Lil <clears throat> Dirk at one point. Um yeah. Well, yeah. what what do you mean? Y'all was together. No, was y'all officially together um, at one point? He's my friend. He's okay. my friend. He's still your friend. Yeah, we're cool. Okay. Smart okay. woman. Okay. Smart woman. She knew how to answer that motherfucker. Motherfucking real. <laughs> no, no, like I'm that. the same way. If I'm dragging my cock against somebody's face, I'm not putting it on the internet. It's well, nobody's no, they, business. They, I thought they it's went public at one business. point. No, and I know y'all had that. the record together, Yo, wasn't it? Was just, it, was just, it was music, man. Like, oh, I mean, you know, okay. the internet Yo, puts, no. puts anybody, you know, you yeah. Yeah. With people, <laughs> they put you together. But Dirk is my guy. Like, I mean, yeah. When you we, give your days, keep doing what you're doing. Because when you give people ammunition, they turn and twist and Fuck you with your own shit. Fuck that. I would never admit to nothing. I don't give a fuck. I could be fucking them every day. I'd be like, that's my sister. <laughs> really? Yeah, for real, that's how you got to do now. You no. Do the sis this thing? internet shit is oh, nasty sis. now. This internet shit is fucked up. <laughs> it's, it's designed to make a real nigga look fake and a fake nigga look real. Yeah. Fuck all that. I be seeing shit on there like so and so went bankrupt. You look so corny. Who, whose business is that? Yeah. This person is pregnant. Who's fucking? Where the fuck was somebody being pregnant? News. Right. That's, That's why I think business. it's important, like, especially when you're in an interview, shit. to clear things up. Fuck all that. You ain't gotta clear nothing up. <laughs> if business. you want to, yeah. Especially you know, if you see your your name business. being dragged just, through the mud or the media, it's like, I'm, hey, I'm the same way. I don't that ain't give got a fuck. nothing to do with me in yeah. in all reality. I'm on some other shit. That's my matter of fact. That's my real sister. We got the same mother. I don't give oh, a fuck. Oh wow, took we it a step further. Yeah, we ain't got no relation. That's like I don't give a fuck. You, 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 whatever you put out there, they gonna grab hold to. So if they gonna grab hold to a lie, fuck it. You might as well give them a good lie, mm. right or wrong. I agree with the privacy of it all. Yeah, but some people try to force your hand. Yeah, yeah, they can only force it as loud as you. They can only force you as much as you allow them to. Now, who's right. the uh, producer on that record? On which one? No fear. No fear. That's coming out on Friday. Christoph Anderson. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with him, but yeah. where is he from? L.A. Right, Cali. He's from out in Cali. Now, do we got a visual? 
to back this the video drops record? Friday too. So oh. it's coming with the single, and it's gonna be available everywhere on iTunes and Spotify and all the good stuff. Who directed Friday. the joint? Rubber band. Uh, band. Yeah, these guys are they? Where they from? Cali too. Here, here, they're from New York. What label you with, Dave? <clears throat> Columbia. Oh shit! Yes. <laughs> My I be trying to figure no. out what's on that couch. No. Every answer is like, no, I laugh because nah, it's the I'm confirmation you need. No, let me tell you something. I'm My first, at the people over My Columbia first two right albums okay. came out on Columbia. Yep, you know what I'm it sure did. My first two albums. I'm talking about 2003 and 2004. I left in 2005. Mm. Okay, so that's why I just it just bugged me you said that. You understand what I'm saying? But mm. first regime I was with was excellent. The second one, dick suckers, fucked up niggas. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. People know I don't hold my tongue. Fucked up niggas. Nope. If I could put them in front of a firing squad, I pull the gun myself. Wow. But, you know, <laughs> shit changes and people get on top. But the first regime I was with was so fucking excellent. It was ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Columbia for yeah. my first album. Fuck the niggas on my second one. Fuck all you niggas. I hope some of y'all niggas dead. Word up. That's how I give it up. <laughs> some of y'all niggas is dead. I don't care. <clears throat> when somebody fuck your shit up, they playing with your life. When they play with your craft, they playing with your life. And y'all better not fuck Dave low shit up because she in Detroit, but I'm in New York, nigga. So I can pay that <laughs> visit, okay? Let me know who fucking up. <laughs> Let me know who fucking up. Who from Columbia in this motherfucker? Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> okay, ah, what up so you know, you, his hand you, know, you, know like, you know the slave. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you know, like the, I come the from the Dave McPherson era. You you know the aura, uh, Ronnie and all them. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. Savage. I done slap niggas in that building, drop niggas, beat niggas up in the office and all that. You know what I'm saying? No, Doc, no allegedly. Documented. Do, no allegedly. No allegedly. Documented it. Documented it. <laughs> Coming off the elevator, DJ niggas too. Bow, nigga, what you did? Everything documented, real talk. But I'm past that shit. I'm a grown nigga now. I was a little stupid before, but yeah. I'm glad. Days low. Let me know who fucking up. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Days low. Any wild stories since your whole uh, fame with getting your your label and since the Try Me record? Anything that's happened that you was like, yo, this was kind of crazy. When it comes to like fan aspect. Fan aspect. Look at your brother. He look like he got a story to tell. Shout out to your brother in the building. What's your brother name? I asked him. What's his name? You can talk in the mic, brother? <laughs> Cam. Cam? Yeah. All right, cool. I got cut. like a brother named Cam. Shout he in the cut. He in the cut. Like, he just <laughs> cutting it. You know he look like he knows stories. Yeah, so what happened, Dej, when it comes to your fame? I'm always interested in, in knowing that. Um, I mean, a few things. It's, it's, it's been a lot of stuff that's happened. Um, <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I can't really. <laughs> you said what? Look at the brother. Brother, you can talk to help her out, bro. Somebody. Even if it happened, has because you're so close man. to her, right, bro? So anything that kind of fell over and spilled over into you, just being nothing, around. Nothing, nothing crazy, too crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had like you know, obsessed fans, and you know what I mean. Not like, well, yeah, like obsessed. I wouldn't say yeah. You this one say. dude, he was pretty obsessed, and he was like, yeah. It's kind of like keep an eye out for him type of vibe. Where he got a tattoo, and he <gasps> come into the club, and it's like he's like expressing his love in my DMs. And Cam, like you supposed to fuck that nigga up. Oh, my God. <laughs> that nigga fuck them niggas like that, fuck them niggas up quick. Was it, did it come across fuck a little scary for up. you? Or, uh, basically, because you said you got to watch out for him. I mean, sounds like for a me, I was just... I'm just thinking like I mean He's a know, fan He's a fan but then No he, when a nigga Get your face tatted Or was it your name What was it The name It's the name oh, Somebody okay. did get the face I don't know who that is I don't know where, where you are right now It just start off harmless that's a, that's, yeah. And then sometimes It gets stupid you But I mean saying? That's probably like The craziest that I remember Just like Oh yeah mm, No restraining orders Put out on him or anything Nah Is he still popping up at shows He's not I don't know where he is But Thank god Shout out to him. That shit would creep me the fuck out, though. <laughs> Can you ever had a situation like that? You've been in the game for a minute. You ever had, like, you big know. draws thrown at you and every day just call me? Them chicks got fucked. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> like and put an end to that shit quick. You understand what I'm saying? Really? Most, they of, got, them, they... most of them niggas had a dude, and I'd be like, yo, come on. You got mm -hmm. a dude. Don't you got a dude? You want me to call Derek? Stop. Mm -hmm. Stop the shit. 
You understand what I'm saying? Like, oh, if it went too far on yeah, like the stalker yeah, tip. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Road is nasty. You know what I'm yeah, and she's about to go on tour with this this but new album. But she's a different. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, but I'm saying for a dude, <laughs> yeah. road is nasty. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can see that. Eight of eight shade four five six the radio. <laughs> what up, man? What's up with Sony, man? Everything cool up there? Who's the CEO now? Donny on and Ben going. Who's the CEO? I need who's the CEO? Who? Who? Stringer. Rob Stringer. I don't know him. He safe. I don't know him. <laughs> I don't know him. So um we got another throwback over there? Yeah, yeah. yeah throw something on. Shade 45. Warning, 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 warning. warning. The drama king is in the building. The drama king is in the building. 88 Shade 45 Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K Slate, Drama King in the building, Jazzy Bell TV in the building, Woo! Dave's Loaf. I want to thank you for coming through. <clears throat> Thanks for having me, man. Sitting down with us, networking, politicking, uh, letting us know a little bit about uh, the project coming out. And, yes. You know, a couple other things going on with you. Mm -hmm. Liberation, saying? the yeah. album. Liberated. 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 Okay. You want to shout anything out? <clears throat> um, Just my album, man. Just look forward to it, you know? Appreciate everybody that's 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 fucking with me. That been fucking with me. Mm -hmm. We're coming, man. We're coming strong. You know, I believe I'm. I belong in this game. So, like I say, get ready. Album coming. Okay. Single, no fear. Single this Friday, man. No fear. Yeah. Okay. And my top five is um. She wanted to do a redo, okay? <laughs> oh shit! The Before remix. Before she go. She wanted to do the remix. Yeah. That quick. I just okay. want. I just want to add DMX. <laughs> Another New York nigga. Can we get some applause, Torch? Yeah. Lord Jesus. That's all I want to do. <laughs> New York is living. New York is living in this motherfucker. DMX, motherfucking Lil' Kim, Jay-Z, Jay -Z, and there was one other person. E-40. No, no, E-40. Shout that was out to the Bay Area. But there was one other person from New York. Come on, don't deprive us now. Little, said, we said Lil' Kim? We said Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim, Jay-Z, <laughs> DMX. <laughs> it was somebody else. It's okay. You can act like you don't remember now, but I'm going to listen back to the show. And I'll, I'll remind you. But again, thanks for coming through. Yes. Thanks for having appreciate me, you. man. I appreciate Keep you doing guys. your thing. You winning out here. Yes. We, we fuck with you in the room. Appreciate what, 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 what we doing, Torch? Uh, huh? Hmm? Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Any record? I'm shooting your ass. Any now, record nigga. you want to. Shooting your ass up, nigga. Why, so you getting shot. Damn, he's still alive, too. Oh, that's also a good one. <laughs> Shay 45. Warning, 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 warning. The drama king is in the building. The drama king is in the building.